truly magnificent garden of coral fans. I don't think we've seen these densities uh, yet today and, and possibly not yet on the expedition. Yeah, certainly we haven't seen these densities at these depths, so we're at 2,300 meters here. Really dramatic terrain on this ridge top. It may be that uh, these more vertical settings create sort of the microhabitat that initiates these denser colonies of bamboo coral we're seeing. As we move over here, we can see all the fans are lined up, and that gives you an idea where the currents are coming from. These fans are likely hundreds, if, if not over a thousand years old, so that gives a sense that although this looks unstable, uh, these blocks have been sitting in their current position for quite some time. I think this is a really good illustration that we need a lot of factors coming together in order to find these high density communities. You need to have uh, the right underlying geology, you need to have the current flow, you need to have the food available, and you need to have the recruiting corals in an area that um, is stable enough that they can grow for long periods of time that you get to see all these really large old colonies. To my recollection, we haven't seen anything quite like this in the Gulf of Mexico so far. We're starting to see all the different things that have to come together to make really great communities, and those are going to help inform models of coral density so in the future we can uh, become even better at predicting where we may find communities like this and, and planning our exploration dives accordingly.